Hi guys, as you can see, I'm not going to be in today because I'm under the weather, but I'm going to give you um, a few simple instructions on how to create a dichotomous key. Most of you are experts at solving a dichotomous key, but it's a little more complicated to create a dichotomous key. Now, my red and green classes are going to choose five jelly bellies to create a dichotomous key for, and my AC blue, white, and purple classes are going to choose 10 jelly bellies. So I would suggest selecting a row such as plum all the way through grape jelly or going left to right such as juicy pear over to lemon lime. But go ahead and choose from a row or a column to select your jelly bellies that you're going to create a key for. Okay, before we actually start the process of creating the dichotomous key, let me remind you that you have a few good samples in your binder if you want to pull them out. Um, some classes worked on sorting fish. I believe all the classes looked at the norms. And you also have the Pamishan dichotomous keys that serve as really good models if you would like to refer to those. Um, there are different ways to set up a dichotomous key and um, I'm just going to show you one of them if you want to follow along um, on the right hand side. The very first step to creating a dichotomous key is immediately breaking your specimens into two major groups. And for the ease of things, I'm going to use the top row, plum over to buttered popcorn. That means that none of you can do this. You cannot copy my key that I'm going to do. So you have to choose another row. Okay, so when I look at those, I can immediately say that the two main characteristics I see are spotted versus solid. There are other ways you can do this, such as multicolored versus one color. Um, I've even had some students break it into groups, such as warm colors versus cool colors. Okay, so for my key, I'm, okay, for my key, I'm going to go ahead and use solid colors versus spotted colors. So remember, a dichotomous key breaks everything into an either or or two major groups. So for the first one, I will say if the bean is spotted, go to step two. Oops. Okay, the other option or alternative is if the bean is solid, go to step well. We don't know what step yet because the very first thing we have to do is eliminate all of the spotted. Once that is done, then we will work through all of the solids and we'll know what number we land on. So we don't quite know what to put in here yet. Okay, so now for step two, we're going to be working with the spotted. Okay, so let's look at our two spotted. We have plum and we have butter popcorn. This is actually pretty easy because there are only two to choose from and they are very distinctly different. So I would say if blue and purple spotted, then, well, that's the only one we have, so go ahead and name it. It's plum. Okay. The other option is if um, yellow and white spotted, again, there's no other one on that row that fits that description, so we know that is definitely buttered popcorn. Sorry, my typing is not so good. It's hard to type and talk. <laughs> Okay, well, we already identified all the spotted. That was easy. So actually, we do end up with step three here. If there were a lot of spots, you might work as far as step five, six, or seven before you would go back and address the solids. But now in step three, we can address the solid jelly bellies. Okay, let's fix my font. Yeah. Okay, so our solids are coconut, kiwi, and crushed pineapple. For this step, I'm going to go ahead and start with if the bean is white. Well, there's only one white one, so let's go ahead and name it, and that would be um, coconut. Now, there are two other beans, green and yellow, and remember, we can't just name them because that would be more than two questions. So we have to break it down further and say if the bean is not white, go to step four. Okay. All right. Now, in this case, we can just go ahead and name them. And we have if the bean is green, we know it's kiwi. And if the bean is yellow, we know that it is crushed pineapple.
Okay, so let's go back and make sure we have all of the top row named off. We have plum, we have buttered popcorn, coconut, kiwi, and crushed pineapple. So we have successfully identified the entire top row. So that was easy enough, and I hope that clarifies the process of creating a dichotomous key, and I hope you enjoy this activity today. See you soon. Be good.